One star reviews on theme parks are probably the most concerning types of one star reviews. I'm going to three iconic theme parks this week, all of which are concerning for different reasons. My only rule for this video is I have to leave a five star review at each theme park, but I can't lie. First up, Universal Studios, baby. Guys, it's me, Ryan. Don't let the hat fool ya. <laughs> I'm here at Universal Studios. I've always wanted to come here. I came on a Monday thinking it wouldn't be very busy at all. It's packed. That's actually what most of the one-star reviews are about, the wait times. Janelle can kick us off. Mario Land? More like Weightland. What a joke. One star. That sounds like something I would say. <laughs> I like Janelle. I like Janelle. David said, Jurassic Park ride was trash. What a waste. Never coming back ever. Not even for free. Universal sucks Mario's cheeks. Good luck, y'all. I'm gonna be at Disney for life. One star. I'm getting scared. Mark C said, My wife and I got stuck on Harry Potter ride for three hours, 15 feet in the air. My legs went numb and my wife started crying because the couple behind us was screaming ridiculous and laughing. Later I found out that is a spell in Harry Potter, so that's actually pretty funny considering the circumstances. One star. Three hours suspended 15 feet in the air. <laughs> I have to die. I'm gonna test that. I'm gonna see if that's true. Hugh K said, everyone watch out. Why would you start a review like that? That's, that's crazy. Two women working the 3D ride is super rude. Calling me too short for the ride under 1.2 meters, which I found out is less than four feet tall. I ride others just fine. I will keep report these two women. Hugh. Let it go, dude. Let it go. How much money does this place make? And finally, Melvin said, One Gen Z working hot dog register, working at the speed of molasses. Took an hour to get the worst hot dog of my life. Another Gen Z came to help, but it actually made things slower because they started watching TikToks. This country is screwed. <laughs> one star. I can't, I, I'm excited for my day today. These one star reviews are concerning at best. It's taken me a really long time even to get over here, like in this area. I saw Donkey. I saw Transformers. There's a lot to like about my experience so far. Far, but it's time to do some investigating to Mario Land. What's the deal? Hey guys, is that the wait time for this, the? This is the wait time. 135 minutes. Yeah. Let's get it. Mario Land. Many people are calling this Mario Mario Land Wait Land. Yes. I heard somebody out there was waiting for two hours. Yeah, we waited like three hours the first time. How fun is this ride? Yeah. <laughs> okay, good luck guys. Hey Luigi. Ah, nice. Brothers stick together. Oh, excuse me, sorry. Oh. oh. Excuse me, how long have you guys been waiting in line? Maybe like an hour. Is it worth it or? I don't know, we're about to find yeah, out, we'll see. see. Oh my goodness, good luck guys. It's looking more and more like Weightland by the minute. The people are trying to rename this place Weightland. I think that's a good call. That's a good call. <laughs> Do you guys know Janelle? No. She's upset about this place. Oh. What's your favorite Mario line other than this one? <laughs> It is me, Mario! That's so good, that's my favorite. Why was that impression insane? After waiting in line for over an hour and barely making any progress, I decided to leave so I could actually do other things. I just watched someone's YouTube video of doing the ride and it was satisfying enough for me. The line is even, is that the line? My goodness, I wasn't even close to that. I feel like that would have been a three hour wait. That's absurd. Janelle, valid. Let's keep it moving. So the next ride is this one. Which David said made him want to never come back to Universal, even for free. Here we go. I'm, I'm trying to ride it. Would you? No, I have. I'll never get on it again. So you just said that you rode this ride and you'll never go on it again. I rode this a while ago. It's really nice. It's calm. But that drop, it's about a 60 foot drop. What? Oh my goodness. That's the reason I won't do it. That drop is horrible. Oh my gosh. All right, Art. Well, thank you. All right, man. Take care. Hey, cheers. Enjoy the ride. Don't pass out. Oh gosh. <laughs> okay. Guys, I'm nervous. I'm nervous right now. This hat is the only thing getting me through this. Oh no. All right guys, if I don't make it out, Give my channel to Mr. Beast. This ride is crazy. We got launched into a river where we rode past a bunch of dinosaurs. These ones are cute. They're fighting over a hat. Maybe that's why they say no hats allowed. <laughs> Next thing I know, I hear that a T-Rex escaped, and the only way to evacuate is down a 60-foot drop. Well, 
<laughs> After the ride, I went to go look at the photo that they take of you, like your reaction. Everyone looks like they're having fun. I mean, there's a few scared toddlers, but then there's me. <laughs> that, that was so scary. One thing it was not though, David, is trash. That was sick. I thought that ride was very immersive, very fun, very cool. I'm a big fan of dinosaurs, etc. but I am definitely not going on it again. Review, busted. Okay, now we're going to see if I can get stuck on Harry Potter's for three hours. <laughs> Let's hit it. I've had my ups and downs in this theme park, no pun intended, but my mission has not changed. I have to leave a five-star review and I can't lie. And if I get stuck on this Harry Potter ride for three hours, that's gonna make my job nearly impossible. Guys, I have made it to Hogwarts. I'm about to try to go on this ride. It looks completely scary. It's a real roller coaster. Let's see if we get stuck for three hours. <laughs> the wait's gonna be three hours and I'll be stuck for three. So hopefully I get out of this theme park by midnight. <laughs> Hi. I feel so out of place in this hat. Is it true this ride gets stuck sometimes? It does get stuck. I'm terrified. Does this ride get stuck? Hopefully not. Hopefully. Thank you, bye-bye. I can definitely see how this ride would get stuck. It's kind of a mixture of like a conveyor belt, a roller coaster, and an escalator all in one. And potentially at the worst moment possible, the ride slowed down. It just slowed down. I thought it got stuck for a moment. I don't feel so good. Good news, I didn't get stuck. If I got stuck on that ride, I would have actually, that would, that would actually be like my worst case nightmare situation. I felt so sick. <laughs> I get motion sick so easy. I don't know if you guys could see it, but my fate, I was like, I was, I was not interested in continuing the ride. Also, what was the deal with the employees saying that it got stuck? Even if it does get stuck, you shouldn't admit it to people that are going on. Anyways, Mark, even with all the information I've gotten, I still can't say that your review is valid. Busted. Time to test Hugh's review. Mario out. We have made it to the said 3D ride that he was talking about. It's Despicable Me, Minion Mayhem. This was the height requirement that he was talking about, that the two women said that he he wasn't tall enough to go on. I'm actually really nervous because I do get motion sick, but that's that's not what the review is even about. That's not This isn't about me. This is about Hugh's review being one star because two women were super rude about his height. I have experienced that type of treatment, but I do have faith that he's lying. Let's hit it. I'm tall enough for this? Uh, I think so. Okay, cool. I was checking out everyone's height. Everyone seemed pretty comparable. I mean, there's children here. I don't understand the height requirement is what I'm trying to say. Bottom line is they let me onto the ride. I buckled my seatbelt and then I lived the life that Hugh couldn't and became a minion. <laughs> Hugh, I was rooting for you. I was rooting for you, I was. But that, that review is busted, 100%. And finally, Melvin's review, he's got beef with this hot dog stand. He left a one-star review because apparently there are Gen Z people working, watching TikTok, working at the speed of molasses. I'm gonna get a hot dog, we're gonna test this out. All right, I'm in line. I don't know if, I, I don't know if we can classify these guys as Gen Z. I would say this is Generation X, millennials at best. And they look like they're working fast. Melvin, it's not looking good for you, dude. It's not, I don't know. Can I get a, I just want a hot dog, the hot dog combo, which is a plain hot dog, basically. Thank you, you guys are efficient. <laughs> Thank you so much. Well, I think it's pretty obvious that Melvin is really good. Thank you. 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 Thank I mean, not even close. I understand that there might be more than one set of staff for the hot dog stand, but things went pretty well, as you can see. Mm, that's a good dog. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Today was super fun. I've enjoyed wearing this Mario hat all day long, but there are many more theme parks that I've got to investigate. Ugh. I think I'm ready to write my review for this place. Next, I was off to America's largest indoor water park. The cool thing about this one is that it's in Texas, so I just, I just drove there. I'm just driving to it. This place is not just a massive indoor water park. It's also a resort. It's a hotel resort. I don't, there are a lot of reviews about different things at this place, okay? It's gonna be a lot to manage, but I'm here all night. I'm actually spending the night here. We've got some fun reviews here. Angelica at the bar, I hope you see this. You are just terrible. I can't believe how rude you are. Give me five seconds to order. Please let me look at the menu for more than a single second before you get upset with me. My advice, it just ends. I'm so sorry, Mario. That review came from the heart. I feel like he had tears in his eyes as he wrote that. I'm gonna try to find Angelica, but that review is not even close to being as concerning as Jennifer's. What a joke. Water was cold, freezing cold inside. I could barely move, almost frozen solid. But you know what really peed me the F off? <laughs> The sheer incompetence of the staff. We went Saturday, 8-5-2026, which is 
three years in the future. My watch is dead. It was, it was more for dramatic effect. That date has not come yet. I left my Apple Watch in my locker and forgot it. When I came back, security guard was wearing my Apple Watch and said it was his. He said I can go talk to manager, so I did, and it was a 40 minute wait. Yes, unfortunately, someone was having seizure, but it doesn't take the whole staff to address that. Then after all the waiting, I was told that I don't have an Apple Watch. Everyone tells me I don't have an Apple Watch, even though I have a photo of me wearing it. I can't tell what the most concerning aspect of that review is. The fact that the water almost froze you alive. The fact that you don't care about someone having a medical emergency. The fact that the security guard stole your watch. Or most concerning of all, the fact that you just claim to be a time traveler. I don't know how to test any of Jennifer's review. Whatever happens in those four walls. You can't say I didn't warn you. <laughs> also, Jason said don't go on any of the water slides unless you want to be immobile for the next two weeks. If you know what I mean. I, I don't. I don't know what you mean, Jason. Finally, SL said, not coming back, and if you are short, beware. One star. Well, I'm in trouble. <laughs> I actually, I'm actually really concerned. What, what, I don't know what that. You guys, I'm excited. I'm nervous. I have so many questions, but the only way I'm gonna find out the answers is if I go check in. Yeah, just on a business trip. So. <laughs> Whoa. Do you have any floor, low floor, high floor? Um, high floor would be good. Okay. Better view. <laughs> yeah, right. Awesome. Bye bye. Thanks. I walked into my room and honestly, I was just kind of shocked. Yeah, this is just a really nice hotel. So far, I love this place. This place is completely beautiful and awesome. Look at that hippo. That hippo is either fake or extremely still. So we've got a bunch of things to test here. We're gonna see if my Apple Watch gets stolen, test out the water slides to see if I'm immobile after. We're also gonna be looking out for Angelica, the rude bartender, and finally figure out why short individuals should beware. Let's go to the water park. I changed into my water park outfit. Look at this cute little elephant towel. Look at that. I also put on my credentials for the theme park. This place must have cost an absolute fortune to build. These slides are sticking out of the building. Where am I? This isn't even the water. How big is this place? After what felt like miles of walking, I scanned in and it was time for our first test, the lockers. I placed my bag and my Apple Watch in the locker and now all I can really do is wait. And by wait, I mean, let's go have some fun. <laughs> in the middle of the water park, there's a massive TV playing exclusively hits from the 2000s. That's a bird. There's a bird there. That's a painting. I'm navigating around the water park. It's completely massive in here. It's huge. The main thing I'm concerned about before I try anything is the whole height thing, like for short people. Don't get me wrong. I'm I'm like at least average height. <laughs> so I'm gonna find some shorter locals at the water park and see if I can get some intel. I'm here with Jeremy and James. Jeremy and James. I, how tall are you? Four six. Four six and? Five six and a half. Okay. That's concerning because he's taller than me. I tell people I'm five eight. Um, yeah, that's really believable. <laughs> okay. I saw a review that said this place is bad for short people. Have you had any bad experiences for your height? No. So I'll be fine. Mm-hmm. How tall are you? I'm um, about like five foot. How tall are you? I'm like close to five. I saw a review that said this place is bad for short people. I'm short. How about for you? Has it been good? Yeah, because the smaller you are, the faster you go. I like that. I noticed that a short king army was hitting the gritty in the distance. It seemed as though they wanted me to join them. I just want to make something clear. I'm not here to have fun. I'm not here to have a good time. Oh, <laughs> I'm here to test one star reviews and leave an honest five star review at the end of this. So this is the craziest one. It may look like I'm having fun. It may look like I'm having a blast. <laughs> But right now, I'm testing a review that says short people should beware while rolling deep with a group of 10 short kings. I just don't think there's another YouTuber on this planet who's outworking me. <laughs> hey. <laughs> I came back to the hotel room. I'm, I'm actually exhausted. I had so much fun, though. We have already busted one of the one-star reviews. I'll, I'll kick it back to the water park for that one. One of the one-star reviews I wanted to test was SLs, who said that short people should just be beware. <laughs> but I think we proved today, short kings included, that SL's review is... Busted! Busted. They said busted. I do still have my Apple Watch in my locker. I purposely left it there. I'm a little worried I'm actually just gonna forget it. Basically, my plan is to come back in the morning and ask if they found it. I'm genuinely nervous because there's just tons of signs that say they're not responsible for lost items, which is fair. So they, this might just be a stupid thing to do. On top of that, I'm not really feeling immobile or anything, so I think uh, that one's busted as well. However, I need to go to the restaurant and try to order something from a woman named Angelica and see if she is rude. I'm nervous for this one. 
I am sitting at the bar. I am the only one at the bar. I am completely nervous. The menu looks good. It looks extensive. I can see how five seconds is not enough time to order. I'm about to order. I don't know if my waiter is Angelica or not. I'm extremely nervous though. I'm gonna literally just say, can I get a, uh, and then wait for five seconds, not say anything and see if, see if anyone's rude. So here we, yep, here we go. Um, let's see, can I get the, The classic burger. Can we just spam in the comments, we love Ethan. He was actually a sweetheart. We talked about football. I ate my burger like a big boy. Yes, I tear it in half. I've been doing this since I was like five. I don't know how to stop. I don't, this is the only way I like to eat burgers. But one thing is for sure. I need to find Angelica. No Angelica. Hey, is Angelica working today? Ang I don't know. Angelica doesn't work. No Angelica. Hey, does the name Angelica ring a bell? Yeah, I know Angelica. Oh, she works here? She's not here. No Angelica. No Angelica. Oh, sorry, sorry, one, not three. No Angelica. No Angelica. no Angelica. No Angelica. I'm in bed. Guess this one star review is a cold case. I thought that was a cool way to frame it. It's really, I just couldn't test it really. Makes me feel like a private investigator, kind of. All that to say, I had a great time. I'm gonna watch some football and go to bed. See you in the morning. Good morning. I'm gonna go try to get my Apple Watch from the locker. Hopefully a security guard isn't wearing it. There is no way. My Apple Watch is actually gone. I started feeling sick to my stomach, to be honest, because I didn't think this would happen to me. Hey, I left my Apple Watch in my locker last night. Am I able to grab it? Or is um, I believe it's with Tom Ford. This is crazy. I think someone actually picked up my Apple Watch. I, I left my, my Apple Watch in a locker last night. Do you guys have, they said it was- In the water park? Yeah. I would check over there. Okay. It's on the desk, they should be able to open it. Okay, they were like, I think Tom Fuller has it. <laughs> so dramatic in there. Everyone's like arguing with each other about where the watch is. Bottom line, this one's on me, but I was really sad because no one knew where my watch was. Well, you guys, my stay at this theme park has ended in an absolute travesty. My Apple Watch Ultra has been lost. This thing has been with me for so long. It's so sad. Everyone on staff was being so helpful and trying to help me find it, but I, it just it just genuinely seems like it's lost. I test these reviews thinking there's no way that could possibly happen to me. Yet here I stand. I did file a lost and found report, so not all hope is lost, but I'm heading to the next theme park, and unfortunately, this might be our first 4.9 star review. Well, I can't stop now. On to the next one. On my way to the final theme park. Look who I brought. My dad. I love Ryan. Ryan. It's gonna be a fun day. You should go to Bucky's. Yes. We grew up in the Houston area. So this is like what you do. We've never actually gone together. We always talked about it, going one day to Kima Boardwalk. But this is the first time we've actually done it. So I'm very excited. <laughs> You've been here. I believe so. Have you ridden any of the rides? I don't recall. That could be a bad thing. That could be a really bad thing. We're gonna read some one-star reviews of this place. You wanna read Claudia's? A crowd, very humid place. Restaurants lack, they all lack taste. They should spell it board walk instead of boardwalk because I'm bored walking around here. Dirty water, one star. Claudia, that's, that's concerning. I feel like she just did not have a good time. That's okay. Don said, watch out for blonde hair girl whose name starts with a J, the rudest person at an entertainment venue I've ever met. First she yells at coworkers then I see her yelling at a small boy. That was me. That was you? Yeah. The Yelp reviews from 1978. We're gonna find that lady. We're gonna find her. There's also a ton of reviews about how long the lines are, that the, the wait for the rides are extremely long. So we'll see about, we'll see. Lastly was just this picture of someone putting their hand in a funnel cake. Why? Are you willing to do that? No. It, do, it does look good. We're gonna have to leave a five-star review for this place at the end of the night, okay? Yes. All right, let's get after it. Let's go! Yeah. The first thing I noticed was no one was really waiting in line. In fact, no one was even really here. First things first, I gotta find this blonde lady whose name starts with a J. Hey, excuse me. You wouldn't happen to know a blonde lady whose name starts with a J? Yeah. No. I was curious, you guys have anyone that works here who's blonde, whose name starts with a J? Jerica? Is it Jerica? A manager? I just heard good things about her, I don't know. Oh, she's a very good person. Okay, she's good, Jerica, okay. We found out her name is Jerica. She's not working today, but he just said she's a very good person. So, another case closed. One of the most common complaints about this theme park was the extremely long lines. 
No line. No line. No line. No line. No, no Angelica. Angelica. Another Short King posse has spotted me. Short Kings. Happy birthday today. It's your birthday. Happy birthday. How old are you? Uh, Guys, we have to spam happy birthday Jaden in the comments. <laughs> we have to. Everybody has to spam it. The bottom line is, there are none. There's like nobody here except for my short king posse that I just ran into. So we really have free reign at this park. And me and my dad are about to have a blast right after some funnel cake. We're gonna dip our hands in it. That's really weird. I, I don't know. I'm a, Okay, let's do it. The funnel cake shop is closed. Presumably, the person who left a one-star review attended the theme park in summertime. This could turn out to be a positive thing for us, so our hands don't get sticky. Let's go have some fun! <laughs> Even though on paper, this theme park is probably the worst of the three. I still had a blast. I think most of it is because I got to spend so much time with my dad. Filming YouTube videos keeps me pretty busy. I don't get to spend much time with my dad. And so going out to this theme park that we always said we wanted to go to growing up was really special. It was, it was actually a great time. And because of that, the five-star review was actually really easy to write. I think this might be my Apple Watch. This is from Kalahari Resorts. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna freak out if this is it. No way. Let's put the review on the screen. We're changing it to five stars. Yay. Thanks for watching everybody. Mwah. Click here to watch another video. Yeah, just click, click right there on the screen. YouTube thinks that you'll like that video. They might be right. You might actually really like that video. Could be a fun time. Could be a good time.